Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a very quick turnaround, the first midweek game of, of the season for us. Um, so it was, it was great to see the guys come in this morning in uh, not only in good spirits, but also in, uh, in good health. Uh, one or two of the little issues that we'd picked up at the weekend seem uh, a tad more minor maybe than we'd first expected, which is, is also great news for the group, of course. So uh, we're, we're full steam ahead for Wednesday night. Thank you, Coach. We're going to open the floor for questions. We'll kick it off with Ben Wright. Um, I think with regards to Walker, uh, as I mentioned after the game, he had made it clear that his groin was tightening up during that first period. We wanted to get him out there. He wanted to see how it was going to react in that second half. But unfortunately, within that first 10 minutes, he was getting no relief from the problem that he'd had. And my hope was that by getting him out, as early as I did, that there was going to be no lasting damage. And at this point, I think we've, we've managed to achieve that. So it, it was mightily disappointing that he had to leave the game. And it's a gaping hole, of course, to fill. But at this point, it looks very much like it, it was just tightness. It hasn't gone beyond that into something more serious. Um, so that, that's really good news. As far as Randall's concerned, he had his first session out on the field today. Uh, he's, he's in a really good place, mentally and physically. And I would hope that we're not far away at the weekend. I think Wednesday's just going to be a little bit too soon for Randall. Um, but we're certainly looking towards the weekend as an opportunity possibly to get him on the bench. But th that'll be the first date that we look at, I think, at this point. Ben, do you have any follow-ups? It'll be predominantly the guys that we've got here and a part of the, the senior roster. Um, I've had discussions with Jack and, and Liam Doyle down at Huntsville about one or two of their guys. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see if we can get a couple of those lads as part of the group. But I think the vast majority of this will be the players that we have here. As I said early on in the opening statement, I've, I've been very, very pleased how the guys have turned around. Tough game at the weekend, an awful lot put into the game. And the discussion this morning was really all about the importance of this cup and, and where our mindset and the team's mindset is in this competition. And I don't think you'll be shocked to hear that the guys are, are looking forward to this competition. and to that degree, the, the majority of the group will be this, this first team group. That's it for you, uh, Ben. One more if possible. Go for it. Yeah, I mean, obviously San Antonio are a really good team, uh, USL champions. Um, you, you've had plenty of experience with USL, but I'm curious what you've seen of them in preparation for this game and kind of what you're expecting from them. Well, the, the, the view of them will be limited, of course, but I've done my best to get back over some footage of San Antonio. Um, plenty of respect needs to be given for what they achieved last year uh, and the way that uh, Alan has, has recruited with this group. And they have a, a number of players that have been part of MLS and have got MLS experience. So this won't be a cakewalk by any stretch of the imagination. They are a very, very competitive side. They are incredibly well organised and they will come to our place and see an opportunity to advance. They won't be coming here as cannon fodder at all. So I expect Alan to put out his strongest group. That strongest group will be incredibly competitive. They are quite a direct side, but that direct nature 
by, you know, its sense makes the game very competitive and very difficult. So, you know, as I've said earlier on in, in the comments, if we want to do well in this competition, then we've got to go into it with the right attitude and the right group. So to that degree, expect to see a team that compete against what I class as one of the top three USL teams with obviously Louisville and Tampa in my mind, those top three groups. He's done a, an incredibly good job there, Alan. Claudio, go ahead uh, with your questions. Uh, Gary, uh, a lot of times uh, when, when, when teams start playing this the Open Cup, uh, that, that should not be in the case because you guys showed at the end of last season how, how important it was for you and I believe the same this time. But a lot of times uh, people uh, think that the, um, that MLS Cup is what it is and then whatever else is just another game. Uh, I just want to remind a couple of that here. This uh, US uh, 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 team play uh, on a, on a competition that plays 472 games a year and 400,000 fans just uh, attended this, this type of games last season. It's a great number, so just in case. And, and I put that into perspective just to, to ask you this. Um, how different do this, you expect this to be in terms of what you guys tried to do this year? And also take into account that this team has a, a coach that is a former MLS player on, on coach uh, Messina. He does, and he's got a wealth of experience. I know Alan, um, and I have a reasonable relationship with Alan that goes way back to uh, you know my time and short period of time in NASL. Um, he's he's very very well organised and ultra competitive, but within all of that, the recruitment's vital to the way that you want to play. And his teams are always, always competitive. You know, predominantly a back three, uh, a group of players that are very, very industrious. Um, they stick rigidly to their philosophy and expect that this team's going to be working the ball into difficult areas for us to deal with. Um, players that are very um, well drilled in the way that they play. And I expect them to put us under a lot of pressure here. I don't think they'll come here and sit back and let us do our thing. Their game's all about energy and, and pressure and competition. Um, but yes, Alan will have a clear picture of us and of, of the league. Um, the one thing he won't have a very clear picture of is obviously Geodis because of the new nature of the stadium. And we need, to, we need to take full advantage of that with the group that we put out. Um, but we're taking it very, very seriously. It's a great opportunity to do well, to, to build some momentum and confidence. And, uh, you know, as you rightly pointed out, we didn't take it lightly last year and we won't this year. Claudio, do you have any follow-up questions? Yes, uh, Gary, obviously, uh, and already Ben mentioned a little bit of this question, but uh, this is an opportunity also for us players that have not been seeing minutes, uh, obviously, for many of your reasons. Uh, how do you feel the team in terms of these guys that might have a chance, we don't know the event, of course, at this point, but these guys have a, some chance of some minutes uh, for them to show you what, what they're capable of, even, even, on, even on, a, on an open cup game? Well, uh, listen, my, my, I'll be clear on this. There'll be one or two guys in this group that are, are in and around, at the moment, what we would class as the periphery of the first team or starting 11 in the league games. So one or two of those guys will be in this group. And to your point, this is a fabulous opportunity for whoever they are to put themselves in a, in a stronger position um, for selection. Unfortunately, because of um, you know, the, the fixtures that we've had, some of them are a long way away from those pre-season games. But what we have been able to do is make sure that any of those guys that have not been playing regularly are getting minutes down in Huntsville. And I think you may well have seen that we've had the likes of Gregus and Anunga and Taylor and guys that are in and around the group. But they've also been playing for the reserve team. So these guys are ready should they be needed, and it's their chance to, to stake a claim for what comes at the weekend. 
The first team group put on a terrific performance to start in 11. But I also thought when Jan came into the game, he had a terrific period of time. You know, more intensity about his game, slowly but surely, without a pre-season, we're seeing that individual that I saw in Minnesota and San Jose. A lot of intensity, he's always had a lot of quality, but that match sharpness is something that he needs to get back in his game. Same for Taylor Washington. When he came on, you can see that he's had minutes. You can see that he's ready and there's appetite there. And these cup games are all about that for some of those guys. It's their chance. And, and it's an opportunity to, to really make the best of it. Is that it, Claudio? Last one for me, uh, just, uh, just to, uh, to kind of uh, uh, get Gary into this. Uh, well, Gary, of course, you, we already said it, and you already said it very well, that this is not an easy team by any means. Uh, does, is that better for you in terms of the preparation going forward, uh, especially after, uh, since you have to get a, uh, get a home a team like Atlanta United this coming Saturday, would it not be better this type of tough game and getting set up an easier one to prepare? Um, I'm, I'm not sure there's really any relevance to that, Claudio. Um, you know, we've just played LAFC, arguably the best MLS team currently. We'll play Atlanta United, arguably the best Eastern Conference team. Um, you know, a wealth of talent and quality. So I think we need to take them and, and, and compartmentalise this. Yes, it will be a challenge, but it's a cup game. It's a one-off. Um, whoever goes out on the field on Wednesday, I need to know that they've got the right mentality, they're going to be in the right physical position, and we've got the right group to go out and win a game. That's really my main focus. Whatever happens beyond that towards Atlanta, whether I need to take players out of the game because we're in a good position on Wednesday, to give guys a rest, um, you know, and how I need to manipulate that on Wednesday evening may well depend on where the game's going and how it's going. But ultimately, I want to win it. I want to be in the hat for the next round and I want to be ready for the weekend as well. So I've got a couple of things in my mind, but a lot of that might well be dictated by the way the game unfolds. Valer, go ahead. Yeah, Well, look, first and foremost, a cup competition represents something completely different. It is very much like the playoffs because, you know, you, you, you've got one game to get it done or you're out of the competition. So there are some similarities there, but you know, American culture is very much about the playoffs. The season works towards that. Um, and, and I think this Open Cup competition can sometimes be a little bit overlooked by the fans because of the way that culture is over here in all sports. But if you look anywhere else in the world, they do have domestic cup competitions and it creates an awful lot of excitement and passion. You know, the FA Cup, of course, in England has a huge history and, and there have been some wonderful games that, that we could look back on over the course of of history in, in, in England for the finals. Um, it also represents a great opportunity for whoever wins this competition. And we saw last year, we were pipped by Orlando uh, on, on penalties in the quarterfinals. Um, and they went on to win it and get themselves a, a Champions League spot. So there's, there's so much in terms of, um, you know, uh, what we can achieve, if you like, and want to achieve down the line to put ourselves really at the next level and, in, and into that Champions League situation. So everyone that enters this is looking forward to, to doing well. They see the carrot at the end of the competition. But as Claudio's already noted, whatever guys are in the group for us, 
um, that haven't been part of the team, it's also a big opportunity to, to stand out. Now, for San Antonio or, or, or any team outside of MLS, it's their, it's their big moment to cause an upset. And, and I think if you look back on the competition in general, there have been many of those upsets. And it, and it will be our job to not be, you know, in that position come the end of the game on Wednesday evening. Uh, yeah, I think that the team is is well prepared. It's like our first uh, like Wednesday turnaround of the season. So definitely bodies are all over the place. Um, but I do believe that this group's got a good mentality going about it. And uh, I guess we're fortunate as well that all three games this week are at home. So I think we're in a good place. And... Uh, the preparation's been been right, and I think we're ready. We are going to open the floor for questions. We'll kick it off with Valer. Valer, if you have uh, more than one question, go ahead with asking them. Sure. Uh, Ethan, we just heard uh, Coach Gary talk about the importance of bringing in guys who haven't maybe been involved. How hard is it from a player perspective to not have those game minutes uh, and having to jump in and, and, and play in a competition like this? Yeah, I think it's probably the most difficult thing in soccer is to be obviously, yeah, like you said, just not exactly in the mix at the moment and then just having to be ready whenever you're called. So um, I guess it's part of being a professional um, and, you know, you have to stay professional every day in training so that if you are called, you know, you have to be ready. I think that guys are expecting the Open Cup to be one of those opportunities. So for me, you know, I've been desperate to play, so when it does come the time on Wednesday, I think that my desperation, my hunger, um, will overcome the challenge of obviously having to get ready in, in such a quick turnaround and, and not having, you know, the minutes behind you that you'd want. Uh, and then one more uh, for me. Um, you obviously scored that uh, incredible goal against Atlanta last time out in the Open Cup at Geodis Park. Um, does that come to mind when you're preparing for this game for you personally? Are you thinking about it? I mean, definitely. I mean, the thing that comes to mind for me is that, you know, the Open Cup last year was an op was the opportunity, actually, for me to, you know, to try to bounce back and to get myself more minutes in, in the MLS games as well. So uh, I've got the same mentality right now. I'm like, hey, I, you know, I want to be dangerous out there. I want to be creating opportunities as much as I can for myself and obviously for the team and, and to have a good performance so that, you know, not only can we, we can win and move on to the next round, but yeah, as well. So I can, you know, I, I want to contribute more to the team for sure. I think every guy in the group, you know, wants to find themselves doing that. So I think this is an opportunity for me to, to definitely, yeah, try to make some more magic happen this year in an open cup game. That's always on my mind. Is that, that it for you, Valer? Yep, all good. Wonderful. Ben, go ahead. Yeah, Ethan, uh, when Alaire kind of touched on it, but you, you've had personal success in the Open Cup. Um, you guys came really close last year. Um, well, obviously, that lost to Orlando, but you you made a really strong run. Um, I think maybe this isn't a tournament that's like valued as much in the U.S. as it is like with the FA Cup in England, but I'm curious what your perspective on the tournament and as a player, what, what it means to you um, and, and what you guys are looking to achieve this year. Yeah, I think that overall, I think the group views it as – Another chance to win silverware for the club, especially since the club hasn't won any yet. So I think that that's definitely part of it. Um, I do think that you know another uh, mentality or perspective on it is that it is an opportunity for guys, especially this game, to try to you know get an opportunity to play against a good side. You know, this team won the USL Championship last year. They're still a great side, so I think it's a good opportunity to test us. Um, but yeah, definitely, I think at the end of the day, everyone wants to take this cup super seriously. Um, you know, it is another competition that we will be a part of. And if we're going to be doing that, then we're going to put our full effort into it. So definitely not taking it easy on anything. We want to, we want to go in there and win games. Uh, and then last one for me, um, you talked about kind of the challenge of not necessarily playing a ton of minutes, but then having to be ready for a game like this. Um, you, you played some for Huntsville this year. I, I'm curious what what that brings to the table. Because um, last year you didn't have that option. And, and so if you weren't playing for Nashville, you weren't getting minutes. But now you have the option of Huntsville. How does that help you stay ready? Yeah, I would definitely say so. We talked about it, uh, you know, a bunch of the guys actually. Uh, you know, when I was with the Galaxy, it was the same thing. I think it was the luxury of having a second team when you just got like 
five plus games where you're just not playing or you're playing maybe 15 minutes coming off the bench, uh, you know, it is good to be able to have that because when you do get these opportunities, you want to be sharp. So I was able to go down and play against Orlando a couple weeks ago. Um, you know, it ha hadn't gotten, you know, 60 plus minutes since the preseason. So I definitely needed it. Um, and that's going to be a big upgrade to have this year because when I do get these opportunities, I do want to be as sharp as possible. Like we were talking about, it's just such a big challenge to be able to just say, okay, Ethan, you're going to go start a game and we need to, you know, to play at the best of your ability. So in order to do that, I do think that, you know, Huntsville and, and having that as an option uh, when needed is definitely going to be crucial to helping me in these situations. All right, Flavio, go ahead. Ethan, uh, from, from, from the outside looking in, anybody would, might say that uh, Nashville should beat any USL team anytime they play. Uh, of course, you're the one doing the job. You know better than, than we all do. Uh, how different it is, actually, to go and play one of these up and cup games in, in, the, uh, um, uh, in the MLS, or uh, there's no difference. It's still a great competition, isn't it? Yeah, you no, know, I would agree. And, and like I just said, they're definitely not, you know, a slouch of a side. They're they're very good, you know. They're a USL championship, uh, you know. They they won the the whole thing last year. Uh, so whenever you're going into a game like this, obviously they have a lot to play for. They want to beat MLS sides, and you could see that that happens. You know, Sacramento makes the final last year, um, and so you're going to play against a lot of energy against good players. So you have to treat these games as if you would treat it as an MLS game, because obviously, you know, from the outside in, like you said, everyone expects you to win. So we have to respect our opponent, but at the same time, we have to bring something that we know if we do bring it, we should we should be winning these games. So I think it's all mentality. You can't treat them like we're going to be given this game. We have to bring uh, from our side our own mentality and our own strength uh, in order to win these games. Because if you don't, you're going to get punished. No. From your own perspective as a, as a player in, in the team, uh, how difficult has it become uh, to actually because we all know, and as well as you do, that you want to get minutes in the, in the main team and the MLS for sure, and that's what you work every day for. But how difficult has that become? Because of obviously the competition and the, the good guys that you have as teammates in the, in, within the team. Yeah, it's it's difficult for sure because uh, you know day in and day out, I come to train and I come to you know obviously to win minutes. Um, obviously, there are, you know, I've got good guys that I'm competing against. Like you said, I've got CJ, I've got Teal. They're obviously very experienced guys. Uh, but I do come in every day to fight and to, to earn those minutes. Um, and that's at the end of the day what I want. You know, I want to play and I want to help this team succeed in the MLS. And I do want to be out there all the time. So um, it's hard. It's hard for sure uh, mentally. But the only thing that you can do if you let it weigh in on your mentality every day at training, then that's going to affect the way you train and that's going to put you in an even worse situation. The, the only thing that I can do is, is perform in training. And when I do get the opportunity like this in an open cup match, uh, I, I want to use that word again. You know, I want to be desperate uh, to play well and I want to be desperate to create chances so that we can score, so I can score goals, so that I can create opportunities for my teammates. Um, so yeah, that's how I'd put it. I'm, I'm desperate right now to do what I can to create more opportunities for myself. Is that it, Claudio? Uh, one just thought on that, that desperation uh, word that you keep using. Uh, now, I bet your experience will help you on this, but uh, just would like to know your take on How much desperation is you on a, if you're going to play a thing like this, a, play, a game like this, instead of helping you? Uh, how, how, how does a player control that desperation yeah, no, that's a great question. It really is. Um, I would say it's definitely a balance to be found, like you're saying, because if, you, like you're saying, if you're too, if you're too erratic out there, if your, if your mind is is overblown with the, hey, I need to be doing something, and and you're forcing something, then yeah, you're right. It could show in your play because you won't, you know. You won't be a fluid part of the of the team and what the what the team has planned for the game. So, you have to be hungry in a sense, but it has to be a controlled hunger because if it's if it's rabid, then it's it's just not going to work. So, uh, I'm desperate, uh, like I said, but at the same time, it's it's going to be um, an efficient desperation that's going to work uh, in regards to what the team has planned for this game.